I wrote Cut to the Chase for my first full-length album, The Left Atrium, and it was based on that feeling of things in life, and that can include people, that you know are not good for you and just makes you want them more. I know that you're a bad idea, but I just want to taste just to make sure I'm right. The whole thing is kind of tongue-in-cheek, stylistically sort of different from a lot of my songs. People have said it kind of has a tango feel. I'm not sure if that's the accurate kind of dance that it feels like, but kind of has that Spanish feel. That was inspired by some music that I was listening to at the time in ways that were involved with what the song was about. I had a friend who had sent me a poem that I got the idea for the lighting the wick line from. You know that you're a ticking time bomb or this relationship or whatever you're doing. Being around that thing or that person is just gonna make you explode. It's just gonna make a mess. But you want it. <laughs> like go ahead and light that wick. Like telling that person or that thing that it's kind of worth it. Maybe not the most healthy way, but I think a lot of people are, can relate to that feeling for sure. And you're always kind of hoping that you're wrong. You're kind of hoping that it'll be different. And so you keep sticking around collecting reasons why you're not wrong, <laughs> why, why it is bad for you. And hopefully maybe you collect enough and you'll let it go. It was a way for me to deal with something that was kind of a painful situation that I knew I was keeping myself in, in a lighthearted way. Like, you know what? I know this, but I'm not ready to stop it yet. And I think we can all relate to that.